So the first thing I would do is clear my fractions and your denominators are three and P minus one. So those will be the, that will be my least common denominator. So let's multiply every term on both sides by three and a P minus one. Three and a P minus one. Three and a P minus one. All right, so here the threes cancel and you're left with three P minus one times a P minus one minus, here the P minus ones cancel and you're left with three times two P or six P. And there's nothing to cancel on the right hand side. So you're just left the three P and a P minus one. Now let's FOIL this out. 3P times P is 3P squared. 3P times a negative one is a minus 3P. A negative one times a P is a negative P. A negative one times a negative one is a positive one. And bring down that 6P. And on the right, you have 3P squared minus 3P. Now these 3P squareds cancel out. That's nice. And I'm left with a negative 4P plus one. Oh, sorry, let's erase that. Let's combine our like terms. Negative 3P minus P is a negative 4P. Minus 6P is a negative 10P. Plus 1 equals a negative 3P. And now let's add 10P to both sides to get our P's together. And so that leaves me a 1 equals uh, 7P. Negative 3 plus 10 and that is a one over seven equals P.